Check out G Fuel. Use code it's Haber for a discount. Not the best promo I've ever done in my life, but hey, we'll move on from that, right? <laughs> Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about must buys on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. These are cards that, in my opinion, have stats that are just too good to be true. Some will be expensive, some will be cheap, but all of them will be cards that I definitely will buy at some point in FIFA 19. For each card, I'll give you a rough price prediction and a description as to why I want to buy the card in FIFA 19. If you go on to enjoy this video, leave a like down below and comment down below any card that you want to try out in FIFA 19. It can be an icon, it could be a rare gold, it could be a non-rare gold for all I care. Let me know in those comments down below. It's only 10 days until the early access and I'm so excited to pump out a bunch of FIFA 19 content for you guys. The, the hype is real right now. Starting off, we've got Alex Sandro, 86 rated left back from Juventus. Last year was heavily used as one of the best left backs in pretty much the whole game for majority of the game until we got the likes of Team of the Year Marcelo, we got the likes of the Team of the Seasons, for example. He was a really used left back in the game and I think that won't change for FIFA 19. He's got a really good looking card and I think the Italian league in general this year is going to be a really used league. It's got some amazing players in now. We've got the likes of Ronaldo, who's pretty much everyone's go-to for expensive god squads. So I think everyone will be using Ronaldo. And there's some amazing players we'll see in this video that I want to talk about too. So I think Alexandro will definitely be someone that is a must-buy for FIFA 19 because... He's one of the best left backs in the game and one of the only really usable left backs in the Serie A or the Italian league. So if I was to put a price on him, I'd probably say anywhere from 100 to 200,000 coins. You know, on the EA access, he might be going for a little bit less, which would probably be a good time to buy. Um, but I think ultimately when people start buying their weekend league and their foot division rival squads, He'll be around 100 to 200,000 coins for sure. Next up is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Now, his stats speak for himself. He's six foot two, 94 pace, 80 dribbling, 84 shooting. And he's got medium low work rates. Now, not only that, but the big thing for me is that he now has four star skills in Ultimate Team. And in general, there's not a whole lot of high rated Premier League strikers with four star skills. You have Aguero, last year you had Ibrahimovic. And then there's really not a whole lot until you get down to like Roberto Firmino, for example. Um, and I think that him having four star skills now and being a high rated Premier League striker is going to make him not only incredibly sought after, but a very good striking option for expensive Premier League teams. 87 rated card. He just looks phenomenal this year and I'm super excited to use him. I think that ultimately for a price, I'd probably put him around... 350 to 500k mark maybe a little bit more as the game comes out he's going to be super hyped but then i think ultimately he will drop and settle probably plateau at a price of around 350 to 500 thousand coins um i think that he'll be very expensive and definitely worth the coins too he's always good in fifa but now he's got four star skills again it changes the game the one i'm most excited for without a shadow of a doubt gareth bale Dude, that card looks mental. He's had a downgrade, but it looks like he's had an upgrade. 95 pace, 85 dribbling, 88 shooting, 84 passing, 76 physical. He's six foot one, high medium work rates. He's a right wing, four star skills, three star weak foot, left footed. Dude, if you guys used Bale last year, you know he was an absolute beast. In FIFA 18, he was incredible. And I don't doubt in FIFA 19, he'll be exactly the same. He's always absolutely phenomenal in the FIFA. He's got the strength and the pace to beat any fullback that you try and throw at him. And I'm super excited to use him in FIFA 19. I think ultimately a price for Bale, 500 to 800,000 coins easily. And the reason I think he'll be so expensive is because there will be a very... They'll be, it'll be lacking. I think that position will be lacking in FIFA 19. I think that Messi's now going to be central uh, and there's not a whole lot of right-sided players that are going to be really usable in FIFA 19 that are high-rated. I think that Bale will take the top spot. I think Bale will be usable. Now, Rob has got awful pace as well. Um, Bale will be that go-to right-winger for God Squads and I'm excited for it because it will mean that that card will just be incredible in FIFA. And I hope he gets a bunch of informs. I hope he gets some central informs. I hope he gets a team of the season. I hope now that uh, Ronaldo has joined Juve, he has a great season at Real and gets an upgrade. I hope to God that this card only gets better because he's such a beast. Okay, so here's one that was actually taken from a screenshot at the capture event. It's actually Hector Bellerin. And the reason that I actually want to talk about Bellerin is that I believe Antonio Valencia got an 82 rated downgraded card this year, which means that they'll probably have a lot of downgraded stats. Obviously, Valencia's getting older. His pace will probably decrease quite a bit. I'm predicting low 80s, high 70s pace for uh, for Antonio Valencia. And Bellerin, although he has had a downgrade, 93 pace, 75 defending, looks like it could be really usable. 
Now he's got 66 physical, which ultimately doesn't help his card out. You know, obviously there's going to be a lot of left-sided players that are going to have a bit more physical, a bit more strength that he might struggle against. But with a very good pace at the right back, I think essentially with all the blanket downgrades in pace on the defense in general i think that he'll be really usable for a price i would probably put him around seven to twenty thousand coins um i think that he will lower a lot as the game moves on but he'll be a go-to right back for a lot of people and quite rightly so because that card does look dope next up is casemiro now yes he's quite slow i know that's already gonna be something that a lot of people pick up on but he's got 87 defending and 88 physical 75 pace and 72 dribbling as a cdm or a holding midfielder he'll be dope medium high work rate six foot one a great looking card i honestly love casemiro and with that low pace you can honestly just shove a you know a catalyst card for example or an anchor card or or maybe an engine and it will up his pace great like to an amount where it's really usable for a price i'd probably put him around 70 to 150 thousand coins uh it depends how hyped the La liga is this year i think with ronaldo leaving it's going to be quite it's going to be interesting i think to see how the league uh goes on messi being central will probably add a lot more hype to the league than it would that it would have had if messi was out wide um i think messi and ronaldo being the same rating as well will also add a lot of hype than messi being 93 rated um so it'll be interesting to see the 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 prices of these players but i'd say that broad price range would probably be pretty accurate for casemiro um if you're using a league team i would definitely go with casemiro as a go-to player you know get a modric casemiro bail link would probably be incredible so i definitely will be buying this card at some point in fifa 19. one of my most excited cards and one of the the most sought after cards i think will be douglas costa gets that strong link to ronaldo but not only that five star skills 95 pace 91 dribbling 75 shooting 81 passing that card looks great now his weak foot lets him down a little bit and his shooting lets him down a little bit as well but i think that as a winger you don't need the best shooting stats to be able to do what wingers do um with five star skills i can imagine a lot of people are going to be using to weave in and out and then you know cross and pass into ronaldo or or maybe try and take on the defense by themselves uh and that card looks fantastic to use for a price range i'm genuinely thinking that he'll be around 100 to 150 thousand coins maybe even more and a reason i think that is because ronaldo is going to add a lot of hype to this card the strong link between them two and not only that he's had such an upgrade that people are going to look at that card like damn like where is this come from i need to try this card out and i think it'll be heavily sought after for expensive teams so without a shadow of a doubt he'll have a high price range and i think that roughly a hundred thousand coins if he's if he's less than 100k i'll be very surprised very surprised because that card looks phenomenal next up we have got liverpool transferry i think transferry is a word i hope it's a word fabinho now as a holding midfielder in the premier league this guy looks dope and he gets a lot of different links to a lot of different players he gets the brazilian link which is always very popular for a lot of different hybrids uh he gets the liverpool link which of course for other players that i will mention later on in this video is going to be great as well so i'm excited definitely to try this card out and his card looks great 71 pace 84 defending 84 physical 77 dribbling 78 passing 69 shooting is it it's a good card it's a really really good card now for a price i probably put him around the 50 to 80 thousand coin mark if he's overhyped if not maybe about 35 to 50k um i think he'll have a similar price to the likes of fernandinho last year uh fernandinho was a really used card last year and had a phenomenal card and i think that this guy will replicate how fernandinho performed on the market last year uh it depends how much people use premier league teams of course and i think that if they do use a lot of premier league teams which is it's pretty usual for pe people to use premier league teams in fifa i think this guy will have a really high price now I'm a straight up just contradict myself and say that Jordi Alba will be one of, one of the most used, uh, if not the most used left back this year. That card looks incredible. With the likes of Umtiti now to get a strong link to him, that 87 rate centre back card, that looks great. and doesn't have the awful work rates of PK. It just looks great. He doesn't have the awful pace of PK as well. It just looks like a solid link there. And I'm super excited for that. This card looks absolutely insane. And I can easily say this card will have about 70,000 coin plus uh markup i don't think it'd be less than seventy thousand coins i honestly don't think he will no matter how used the la liga is that card is insane it's a great looking card and i think that at least 70k will definitely be where this card sort of settles at and 
although he only has 79 defending, it'll be interesting to see how many people use him. Obviously, if you guys haven't seen the Marcelo card yet, the FG Freestylers posted that on their Instagram account. If Mar if Marcelo is leaked, I think he's leaked to have five-star skill moves. If Marcelo has five-star skill moves, it could drag this guy's price down a little bit. But I don't think it'll drag it down that much. I think Marcelo will not be used as much as this guy because Marcelo has about 81 pace and people will always look at pace. It's just the the mindset of FIFA players. So I think that Jordi will be used a little bit more than Marcelo. That's just my opinion though. Obviously Marcelo has the best stats for defending and physical. I think they have similar dribbling stats. Actually, no, they don't. It's a complete lie. I think Marcelo has 90 dribbling. Um, but I think that ultimately this card will be used a lot as a pacey wing back and they'll be getting links, for example, Spanish links to uh, Ramos or links to Umtiti. We'll see how this card performs. Moving on to another one that is a, I guess, a capture event leak, but it's not actually been posted anywhere because he's too low rating. It's actually Jesse Lingard. Now, this is what his official card looked like on the capture event, and it's a really good looking card. 81 pace, 84 dribbling, and 78 shooting. I believe he has 4 star, 4 star as well, which is pretty dope for a cam. I think that the Premier League doesn't have a whole lot of cams that are not really small and weak. For example, we have like the likes of Lanzini, for example. Uh, and I think a lot of people will be using Lanzini, but I think that a lot of people also use Jesse Lingard. I think that being a Man United player also gives him a little bit of hype, also a bit of stigma, but maybe that's a good thing for his price. I think his price will be, excuse me, my phone just went off. Uh, I think his price will probably be around 15 to 25,000 coins at the start of the game. He'll be hyped, I think, and then it will drop to around seven to 15,000 coins as we go on maybe a few days into the game. Everyone's overpriced at the start of the game. So these are just rough estimates and based off players similar last year and how they performed. I went and looked at like footbin and stuff like that. And players similar to this guy with hype generally got around the same price. Next up is Lucas Moura. Now, I think this guy's price will rocket up at the start of the game because he's just won the player of the month. He will probably get a player of the month SBC around the 29th, 30th of September, roughly. I can't promise the exact dates because I don't know, but it will be around that time, maybe a little bit after that. He will get a player of the month SBC, and I think that will drive his normal card up as well. A lot of people will want to use this card because it's a decent looking card. He's got at least four star skill moves, maybe five star, depending on you know what different factors EA bring in now that's not me saying I think he deserves five star or anything like that it's just that he put you know there's a potential for it uh but also because you know the 92 pace and 85 dribbling is great for a winger anyway so I think that for a winger that's just performed really well in August he'll be someone that people try to use straight out of just performing well in August uh, I think for a price prediction 20 to 30k is genuinely not out of the out of range at all uh he might be a little bit lower maybe at the 15k mark but i i predict 20 to 30k i really do i think he'll be around there and uh, i think he'll go up even more when his player of the month card comes out you can just look at sterling for example back in fifa 16 his price was ridiculous at the start of the game and when his player of the month came out it was even higher next up is sadio mane this card looks unreal. 86 rated with 94 pace, 87 dribbling, 80 shooting, and 73 physical. Four star, four star. This guy looks phenomenal. He's been great in the last couple of FIFAs. Of course, he won the player of the month last year in an 87 rated card that was it performed really well throughout the year. It was used in a ton of different squads. I think it wouldn't be out of reach to say this card would be under 100k. I don't think it will be. I think he'll be over 100k, maybe around the 80,000, 90,000 coin mark at a bare minimum but it also depends on how other cards perform on the market as well it depends how you know alexis sanchez got a huge downgrade which means that he won't be used anywhere near as much it could drive this card up a whole lot more that the fact that players like alexis won't be picked up as much it all depends on how other players in the same league perform in the same way and i think that players like douglas costa getting a huge upgrade could also shoot this guy's players uh shut this guy's price down I talk too fast for my own liking sometimes. Shut this guy's price down because maybe people will try Calcio A or the, I keep calling it Calcio, the Serie A instead of the Premier League because of that. And it might shut this guy's price down. So it all depends on how other players perform. Sorry, other prices perform. Um, but it'll be inter interesting to see. I'm really messing this up now. I feel like, you know, when you make a mistake and then you just keep making loads of mistakes until like it ends. Dude, this is me right now. Like I'm stuttering like crazy. But Sadio Mane, crazy looking card will be very expensive but definitely worth the buy this guy is easily in my top five for wanting to buy on fifa 19 
Manalas looks crazy. 83 pace, 86 defending, 82 physical with low high work rates, 6 foot 2. He was already incredible in FIFA 18. Now to get a card like this, just it makes me excited to use the Serie A even more. That league is looking so stacked for players and I think Manalas will be unbelievable in that league i think it'll be so used in everyone's teams at the start of the game i can see this guy going from anywhere from like 50k to like 100k even more it depends how hyped he is it depends how many people buy him we'll see i think that 50k is a bare minimum price for him there's no way this card can be under 50k i know that it's a Serie A, and sometimes the prices are quite low but with the ronaldo being in that league now especially that league is going to be so pricey and i think that manlas will be in the same boat but definitely worth the buy. RIP controllers around the world. Five star skills, uh, 87 rated, 96 pace, 89 dribbling, 81 shooting, 72 physical. This card looks like the real deal. Now, I am genuinely in debate and I want to hear your opinion down below whether this card or Bale. Who do you go for as your right forward in a mega team? Who are you thinking? I can't make my mind up. I can't decide. I really can't. I can't decide who's going to be better, who's going to be better to use, who I should go for. I think for a price, this guy would be easily 300k, easily. I think that, dude, five-star skills now as well, it changes the game. I, I just, I want to hear your opinion on that. Bale or Mbappe, who are you using, who are you trying to link up to? I want to hear you down below. Let me know. Dude, the Serie A is it looks more stacked the more cards i look at mertens 87 rated with 89 pace and 90 dribbling 83 shooting what a cam this will be with 80 passing this will be a perfect cam get the likes of hamstrick in there behind him ronaldo up top the possibilities are endless they're endless dude it's crazy I'm so excited to use the Serie A this year, and I think that Mertens will be another card that is definitely usable. Now, last year, he got an inform. I think it was week one, which drove his price through the roof. Now, he started at around 150k last year, and that was when the Serie A was kind of underpriced, and I think that it wouldn't be, you know, pushing the boat to say this card will probably be around 80 to 130,000 coins at the start. Easy. Maybe even more. I think this guy could, could rock it up depending on how much the Serie A is used. And this all depends on how much the players are used on the Serie A. I think that it'll be a very hype league next year. So prices always go up with hype. This makes me happy to see. I'm a Man United fan. It's no secret. And Paul Pogba is one of my favourite players actually currently in world football. And a card like this looks really, really good. It actually really accurately represents his card as well. I think that EA have kind of missed how Pogba plays he's more of a dribbler with like strength than someone that runs up and down the pitch defending all the time and I think that this accurately portrays his, his card stats less than 70 defending in my opinion is deserved I think that he's not the best at tackling although he can win the ball off plays I don't think he runs back and tackles all the time he's got a pretty decent work rate so I'm surprised he has high low I thought he'd have high medium but this card will be really good to use in FIFA 19. The five-star skills, the 87 physical, the 85 dribbling, the 86 passing. Get him as a camera attacking mid. Whew. This will be a phenomenal card. Price range, easily 500k. I think maybe even more. It depends. It depends how, how many people see him as a card that is going to be phenomenally usable as a more attacking for, uh, midfielder than a sort of box-to-box -box mid. It depends how people see him. So if he's seen as a box-to-box -box mid, I'd say... The lower end of 500k if he's seen as more of an attacking mid maybe 600k you know it's it's definitely possible i was looking at his price from this year and it was crazy and the card honestly that i i feel like fifa 18's pogba card didn't even look as good as this card it really didn't i think we find the new eric Bailly, and uh it's in the form of darwinson sanchez 76 pace 84 defending 82 physical will be a go-to cheap defender from the premier league and i'm super excited for it uh this card looks absolutely phenomenal and i think he'll perform really really well davidson sanchez last year in my opinion was a really good center back so with a better card i'm the possibilities are endless in fact i think for most premier league squads it'd be stupid not to have davidson sanchez because that card looks ridiculous it looks so so good for a price i probably put him around the 30 to 40k mark roughly i think he'll match similar prices to what buy had last year because their stats seem so similar um so i put him easily around the 30 to 40 000 coin mark and depends if he's hyped up even more maybe even more i'm super excited to see how this card performs and i'm super excited to use it finally the ea gods have given sane four star skills and what a card he's got 95 pace 86 dribbling 81 shooting and 70 physical 
this card will be unreal and he finally has four star skills I think it'll be a similar price to uh, to Mane, around the 70 to 130,000 coin mark at least. I think that those two will be the competing left wings, in my opinion. Next up, we have Musa Suzoko, which as well, I think looks like a really, really good box-to-box -box mid. I'd say probably stick an anchor or a shadow card on him and he'll be absolutely fantastic. Price-wise... Maybe 10,000 coins at a push. I think he'll probably have a 10,000 coin price cap, to be honest, because I can't see EA thinking this card will be phenomenal. Uh, but I think it'll perform really, really well for the cheaper Premier League teams. So for the cheap teams, I'll definitely be picking this guy up as my go-to centre mid. Stick some, like, a defensive and maybe an attacking midfielder in a three trio with him. It'll work so well. I'm really excited for this card. And, dude... This, the face stats look really, really good. I can't wait to see the in-games as well. 84 physical. I am so excited to see what his in-games are. The penultimate player in this list is Van Dijk. This card looks unbelievable, dude. 6 foot 4, 71 base, 85 defending, 84 physical. If you guys use Van Dijk in FIFA 18, you'll know the man is a god. He's a legend killer, literally. He can stop a bus with his bare hands. I'm convinced. I am genuinely convinced. This guy is unbelievable. And I'm super excited to use him in FIFA 19. Price-wise, 50k plus, easy, maybe even 70k. I think this guy will be so sought after. He could even reach the 100,000 coin mark, depending on how how well people you know, think of the Premier League, for example. Um, if we look at David Luiz last year, he reached heights of 80,000 coins, and he didn't even have like the stigma, not the stigma, the, I guess like the, the reputation that Van Dijk had in FIFA 18. Like, David Luiz didn't even have that in FIFA 17, so... For this card, I think easily he can match prices like that. The last card is Raphael Varane, the 86 rated monster. Look at that card. It looks unbelievable. I think this card will easily be 150k plus on FIFA 19. That card looks unbelievable. 84 pace, 86 defending and 80 physical. Medium high work rate, 6 foot 3. He works so well with the likes of Umtiti, Sergio Ramos to name a few. He just links perfectly. He's got the French link. He's just the all-round perfect centre back for FIFA 19. And I'm super excited to try this out. He is a must buy. This card will probably perform insane at centre back as well. And I'm so excited for it. This card is such a good looking card. So... That is all of them. If you guys did enjoy, smash a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know down below who you want to buy. Let me know if you agree with, disagree with anything I've said in this video. I'd love to hear your opinions down below. And I'll see you later.